Welcome to my channel! <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome to the um the channel! The channel! I finally filmed! Um this has been a dream of mine for the longest time. Um, I just think wow like let's just do it like we're in quarantine i'm gonna look back on these videos when i'm like 50 maybe um and just think wow like this is what i did with my quarantine time um when we went through the coronavirus and um yeah why people have got their, like time on their hands they can be at home and um chill and just play with makeup and you know like if i could teach someone i've just said this in the outro but like if I could if I could teach someone one thing out of doing these YouTube videos, then that's that is enough for me. Like, you know, I get so many questions, or I get so many, you know, teach me how to do makeup, or oh, I wish I could do makeup like you. Like, all it takes is practice. Like, this is the perfect time for you to sit in front of a mirror and just practice, 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 practice. Is it literally my motto? And literally just practice. That's all I can say. But I just wanted to mention that. I do have on the, the new Centropay Vitamins Body Spray. I'm obsessed with this. Like I feel like I'm so dark, but so naturally dark. Um, and it actually is the quickest tan I've ever used in my life. The quickest and easiest tan um, I've ever used. So do get chuck a luck in with it. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So okay so we're first going to start off with the eyes and the first product I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer. This is the best primer you will ever ever use. If you have super super dry eyelids like I actually do suffer with eczema on my eyelids. Um, I would recommend to mix it with a little bit of your moisturiser as it will help. So it comes on an applicator which I'm just going to... I kind of do a line under my eyebrow and apply it all over like so. It looks super crazy right now. Then what I'm going to do is take my ring finger and I'm going to pat that all over. I have like quite bad crow's feet at the side of my eye from not using eye cream i find i really need to get in there like this so with the primer you can always so drag this product as well which is nice you can apply it with a brush you can apply it however you like i just find using my finger is the best way to apply it and also don't use like your index finger or whatever just use your ring finger because it's got the least power in it and when it comes to the eye area we must be really careful it's the same as when applying your eye cream you want to use your ring finger because it has the least power right and i kind of bring it in in the middle too that's our eyes primed um i always go in and set it with just a powder i'm using the maybelline new matte makeup this was like two quid um from a drugstore this is a really good product um it's a mattifying powder. I don't ever use it for my face. I just use it for my eyes as I find it's a really good um, product to set the primer. So you just want to pack that on. This hair is really annoying me. You want to pack it on like so. I also find when you do eye makeup up, you don't want to do one eye and then go on to the other i actually hate when i see people do that it really infuriates me more to the point that if you're doing multiple blending etc you want to make sure you're using the same products on the same brush so i feel like when you use something that's not on the same brush it just doesn't give you the same kind of look so the first palette i'm going in with is the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette i think this is my third one of the same palette i've used this palette for donkey's years since it came out 
I absolutely love it. Um, I love the warm oranges, as you can see, my two favourite colours. Um, I use them quite a lot and I will be using those in this look. So the brush I'm going in with is the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft and Finer. And I'm just using that Real Gar shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And we're just going to put that into our crease. You want to pack it on like so. And I find that this is the perfect brush to fit into your crease without blending like we're not blending we're just placing the product so you just want to run it back and forth like so very unneat we don't want it to be neat at all we look crazy right now but that is what we want and then I'm going to go in with another Zoeva brush, which is the 228 brush, which is a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go in with that burnt orange <laughs> colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. You can literally use the similar colours in pretty much every palette has these kind of colours. But I just really like the consistency of these shadows. I find they are very, very soft. They blend well and they last on the eye as well. Obviously, the eye primer is going to keep on our eyeshadow for 24 hours. Um, make it non-crease and just keep it where we put it um, and so with this brush here you want to do super super soft soft strokes back and forth into our crease we don't want to go on top of where the product is we just want to go um, slightly above it and I keep dipping back into that product and if you see we're starting to get a nice soft blown out effect and you just want to keep blending in circular motions back and forth motions all over the eye just to get that orange color blended i just really really love this kind of sunset look this is my go-to you know night owl special occasion look um a lot of people tell me I wear the same type of look um, when I go out now because when you find a look that you love you kind of tend to stick to it especially if you don't work in makeup anymore um, I just find that I literally love this look and I find as well it doesn't really matter what you wear it just kind of goes which is really important I find when you know you're going out and especially if you don't know what you're wearing or you have 10 different outfit choices you can really see the difference between the two that's super blended and that one isn't so we just need to keep at it until it's super super blended next you want to go on to our outer corner which is going to be our smoke i'm going to take my favorite 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 palette in the whole entire world which is the born to run by urban decay this is honestly you'll actually see how well loved this is but this palette is just beautiful the color in there called punk as you can see is my most used shade i pretty much only realistically use this palette for that shade um i think it's just the perfect brown um for a smoky eye it's um not like chalky it just blends amazingly and um it looks good as well so we just wanted to make sure that i'm going back in with that crease brush that we use to apply the orange shade and I'm just going to go over my end of my eye just to make sure that we have some pigment there for it to blend with. So with this brush here, which is a MAC 217, so that classic brush that I literally nearly sold my soul for um, when I was like 16. I've actually had this that long. Like I've actually had this brush for such a long time. So you want to dip into that punk shade and you just want to run it back and forth from the lash line up to the crease if you can see the placement and back and forth we're not going to do too much with the dark right now because we're going to cut the crease um, and then we're going to obviously go back over it So you want to go back in with that crease brush that we use, the short one 
for the orange and I'm literally just running that back and forth into the crease and again back with your big fluffy brush and just soften it all you'll notice as well I always just go back and forth with all these different brushes just to kind of like blend and just to like reapply because you'll find that you kind of like lose like your, your color quite quickly um, and you want to just make sure that you relight it so now we're going to cut the crease and I always tend to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I use it in the lightest shade, which is Fair Warm. I just find this sets great. It stays. You can reuse that primer that we used. Um, but for me, I just find this is the easiest product to use. And I also use it on a flat brush. It is actually one of the Naked Brushes from the Naked Palette. And we're just going to make that super, super flat on the back of our hand. And then we're going to start cutting the crease. So obviously we don't have much work there to cut. But for, for my eyes, um, it, it works. So it's fine. We just want to start at the front of our eye. And drag your brush round like that. You'll find that that is not going to be enough. And that your eye is not that shape so what you want to do is you want to look up and it will mark out where your crease should be I don't tend to go that high but I go slightly under it and I just pat over it and then with the outside bit you just want to use your finger to tap away any excess and just pat it out like so. So now we have got the creases cut. We then want to go back in with that powder that we first used to set our primer. And this is basically just going to set the wet concealer that we have put in our crease. Back to our first brush, our big blending brush and going back in to our renaissance palette and i'm just grabbing that burnt orange color that we run in our crease and i am literally just putting that softly back into our crease so sometimes we can kind of like misjudge a little bit of our shadow i am then going to put it over the ends of the where the cut crease has been just to kind of blend all of those shades together what we want is we don't want any kind of like harsh lines or anything so we kind of just want to nip back in in back and forth into our shades that we use i'm going back in with our brown and i am softly blending into that brown shade i kind of go like back and forth motions with this Remember as well that sometimes both eyes will look slightly different if you've got two different shaped eyes. So for me, I have two different shaped eyes. Um, my eyelids are different on each side, so which is annoying. But again, no one's perfect, apart from those people with two same cut shaped eyes. Um, it's actually really, really common. I didn't think so until I started doing makeup and obviously started doing clients. And then I'm going to take that smaller crease brush that we used in our crease and I'm going back in with that real girl colour and I'm literally just brushing it on really lightly against our transition. So for the main event, our lid colour, I was actually debating whether to do the colour I actually do use for when I'm going out, um, which is in the Huda Beauty nude palette and it's called Crave which you can see <laughs> this one here this is honestly the most beautiful shade I pretty much use it on all of my brides um they love it and it just looks so beautiful um and I pop some moon dust glitter on top from Urban Decay so I'm going to use something similar I do actually have a pigment from Makeup by Carmen but I have no clue where it is so we're going to result in peaches and cream it's called peached and we're going to use that on the lid so before i actually put the pigment on i apply a glitter glue which 
at the moment I've got the Too Faced one. I actually got this for my birthday like five years ago. Um, but it's it's great. I've lost the lid to it, but it does still come out. Um, obviously this is for personal use, so it doesn't really matter. I don't really use this in my kit. Um, so you want to apply a little tiny amount on the back of your hand. And you just want to get a small flat brush that you're going to use for the pigment. I'm going to pat it on top of that space where we're going to put our pigment. It's going to stick it and it's also not going to fall down our face, which is important. That's another reason why I do my eye makeup first. Some people like to wet their brush with a setting spray or a fixing spray. But for me, I just feel like you don't actually have to do that with the, with the glitter glue. And then we're going to press. I literally love the peaches pigments. I have been a fan of peaches and cream for the longest time and when you get to where the brown is you want to be super careful and just press lightly like so so again going back into the same brushes that we used and I am just nipping back into that real girl colour and I'm literally going to tap my brush on top of the blend and we just want it to be seamlessly blended no harshness I'm just going to pop back in with my brown and I'm just going to run back over again back into our blending brush and I'm just going to soften any harsh lines so now we are going on to our skin first product i always apply to my skin before i start my face makeup is my self tan from saint Tropez, which is the purity face mist if you're like me and love a self tan product and you like to be bronze the comparison when you cleanse your face you take off pretty much all of your fake tan that you're wearing on your face so you want to make sure that you have can reapply it before you apply your makeup um this one here is such a good product i actually use this before i go to bed or if i'm wearing makeup i'll put it on before i go wear makeup um super super easy to use i just give it a shake and i do it in um like layers so it smells incredible, makes your skin feel incredible. It's just an incredible product and definitely worth trying if you love your face to be glowy and tanned and without kind of um, having to put any of the harsh body tan on your face because it's actually made for your face. So lots of product development goes into that and they research it. I was gonna put a moisturizer on, but instead I'm just gonna put on this, um, Lamine Finland Hydrating Mist. I got this in like a glossy box or something. It smells like grannies, but I really like it. And then my foundation of choice I'm going to use today is my NARS Sheer Glow. This is my go-to foundation. I love it so, so much. If you haven't tried it, get yourself to the shops when they open. The primer I'm going to be using is my go-to, the Becca Bat like filter primer this is nearly finished this one which makes me sad because best primer ever but this is my personal one so i just don't usually do that but special occasion no. it's such a lush product it smells so nice also gives us a super glow i did um remove the excess eyeshadow under my eyes going in with the nars sheer glow like i said and this is the shade barcelona i do realize this will be slightly darker than me but i will lighten it up with um my concealer and stuff so i prefer to go the same kind of shade as me so with this foundation the best brush to apply it with is literally this urban decay brush it's the optical blurring brush this is honestly the best foundation brush you will ever use in your life i have about 10 of them i use them in my kit and in my personal makeup just looks like skin 
like this foundation looks like skin and i feel like you don't need a lot of it and you also don't need to like powder it or anything like it just looks so good like it just looks so natural and it just looks great and then the concealer i'm gonna go in with is the it's called the state naked concealer by urban decay again this is their new one i'm gonna use the shade 30 and why so i'm just going to use this under my eye kind of just draw it on and i use a little bit down my bridge of my nose and a bit on my chin and this just will lighten up my foundation as well so i'm just going to go in with a beauty blender So with this concealer i really like to just bounce it into the skin want it to look light but not too light because we don't want to look like a clown going in with my rcma no colored powder do you know what i actually have used this for such a long time I'm going under eye And whilst that is on, I then go in to do my brows, which is just, they need to be done at this stage because, you know. I grab a spoolie and I will just brush through them. I know I keep saying my brows look really bushy, but they're obviously grown out. Um, I did pluck a few of the hairs the other day, but it just didn't look that great. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in soft brown and i use it with the zoe eva wing liner brush if you literally want a secret to great brows it's this brush so what i first do i go on top and i draw out my line and then i go underneath and i join it up and then i just fill in this end bit and just make a point and then i just kind of like really soft brush strokes through the hairs and then this line under here i just push it up and just remember ladies and gentlemen eyebrows are supposed to be sisters not twins sometimes cousins and sometimes long lost family members i'm just gonna wipe off my bake so we're gonna finish off our face now um with our bronzer the bronzer i'm really liking at the moment is fenty beauty and um, this is actually called island ting because it makes me feel like I'm on holiday. And I am going to use this with a Spectrum A05 brush. It's just like an angled face brush. And I literally always start at the top of your ear and circular motions down. You don't want to go too close to your mouth either. You just want to use it really lightly. I'm actually really enjoying this bronzer. Um, I also like Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. This is a really nice one as well. Um, but the Fenty Beauty is actually really nice and I've actually had it quite a long time. I think I've had it since like, September And then I'm going to take it along my hairline And also the size of my nose So from my contour I'm going in with the Naked Skin Shapeshifter and it does have a bronzer in here it has a contour shade it has a under eye highlighter under eye powder and a highlighter there as well on the other side have creams as well you literally need the tiniest bit and again i'm using another mac brush do you know what i didn't actually realize i had so many mac brushes this is the 168 and i literally just use it under where my bronzer is to give me that little cut And I'm going to take my beauty blend up with my powder on it again. I'm not going to apply any powder to it. Going back to the eyes, I kind of just like dabble in and out of what 
I do. Going back to my Renaissance palette and I'm just dipping in that orange, like so. I'm just going to take that under my eye. So I'm just going to run that. What you want to do is you want to get the long brush, the blending brush, back into that um, burnt orange colour and you just want to run underneath it. Round your eye. So you're blending the crease colour, the crease blend colour with the under eye colour. I'm then going back with that short brush that one there and I'm going into that punk shade the brown shade that we use on the outer corner and I'm just going to run that really close to the lash line and then again to blend it all together you just take that big brush and just run underneath and I'm going to go back to my face I'm going to take this palette here this is the wow that is very dirty this is the Becca, Chloe and Malika Best Friend Palette. I literally love this palette so much. Um, this is probably my favourite palette for like bridal or just like super glowy skin. You've got a highlighter, you've got two blushes and a bronzer. The bronzer for me is just a, maybe just a little bit more too kind of um, highlighter-y. It kind of goes a little bit muddy. And I just mix the two blushes together. Uh, real techniques brush. And I just smile and you just literally onto your cheek onto the apples can you see that glow like i'm obsessed and then our white beard as my boyfriend likes to call it you just want to use that same brush that we use to wipe off our bake guess where i'm going back to the eyes i'm now going to use my eye pencil this is a waterline eye pencil from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Rail. This is a, like a, um, a dark brown. I apply it to my upper lash line. Again, a lot of people hate putting eyeliner on, but for me, you can either look in the mirror and run it across like that, or you can close your eye like I do and just run it across. I want to add a little bit of glitter to the um, main lid colour called Party Favour. And this one has literally, it's like a mini moon dust palette, but it's got kind of the shades that you would use instead of those kind of bright, bright shades. So I'm going to take a little bit of the No Shame, which is kind of like a champagne gold colour, with a little bit of the New Moon on my finger, just like this. And I'm just going to pat it on top of where we've got our pigment from Peaches, just to add a little bit of like glitz. And then a few finishing touches on the eyes. We want to add our brow bone highlight eyeshadow from Urban Decay. It's a single shadow called, I can never say it, but I think it's called Zeph Zephra, Zephra, Zeph Zephyr. Maybe you guys can see for yourself. This one here. It's, I'm literally nearly out, but this is my favourite brow bone highlight and inner, inner corner highlight. Like, if you guys use something, please, 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 please let me know what you use. Because I am obsessed with this brow bone highlight. And then, if we get any of that in our brows, I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I'm going to go in with some mascara. Um, I'm going to use this Ico Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara. I'm going to be applying the Doll Beauty Lashes in Anastasia. What I do is I just basically, on the rim of the lash, I just put my Duo Dark Tone lash glue and pop it on the side to let it dry and just make sure the back and the front is covered and then this is the part where you grab your morphe brush and you go in with your highlight so my favorite highlighter at the moment is the ofra rodeo dry it's just such like literally you'll see how much i've used i love it like it's such a good highlighter you can literally see the way it goes on like it's literally like a glazed donut
then it's time to apply our lashes take the lash on the tweezer when you apply lashes you want to look down so look down into your mirror apply the lash against the lash line you want to pop the middle pop the front and then pop the end and when i say pop i mean like pop it in place now the other lash pop it against the lash line pop the end the front and then you just want to squeeze your lashes and your falsies together and then we're going to do our lips favorite lip liner which is the urban decay liar lip liner and i'm going to apply that And then I'm going to apply a lipstick. I'm going to apply, I normally wear the Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick with this lip liner and some gloss on top. That is my go-to look. But at the moment, I'm, quite, I'm running quite low on that lipstick. And because we're in quarantine, you know, I'm saving up for the first night out. So I'm going to apply this NARS lipstick in the shade Barbara. Obviously, I overdraw my lips slightly. And then I'm going to apply a gloss. I'm going to apply this Peaches and Cream lip gloss. And that is the final look. But we've actually forgotten something really important, especially for our night out. Our raw night of setting spray. Give it a good shake. Shake it to wake it. Anyone else find that the setting spray smells like sneeze and that is the finished look i'm gonna do my hair and i'll come back so guys that is the finished look thank you all for watching my first youtube video i wanted to do this for the longest time if you know me or you don't know me or whatever you know that i have wanted to do this for such a long time um i've been a makeup artist for wow like nearly 10 years now so yeah it's been a journey but I feel like YouTube you know I can help so many people and just like really get myself into like a hobby as well because I feel like I don't really have one and you know apart from playing with makeup if I can like document and help people whilst playing with makeup I feel like this hair is just not okay you know it can change people's lives by just those little tips um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, do let me know, um, follow me on socials and yeah, like, subscribe and <laughs> I'm so crap at this. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.